Hare Krishna. Krishna retains his divine position even while reclining in a supine position. Krishna is the supreme being, but when he performs his pastimes, he sometimes acts in ways that may not seem divine at all, and that may not indicate his divinity, his potency, his greatness. For example, when Krishna performs pastimes with Mother Yashoda, uh, he is initially a small baby who may be lying helplessly in a supine position. And while lying there, he, is, he may not even be able to bend, move, move much. So you may say, how can such a helpless, motionless baby be God? But even while Krishna was lying in a supine position like that, when the demoness Putana came to kill Krishna, Krishna sucked out her milk and sucked out her life pair with it. So that time, Krishna couldn't even get up from his, uh, from, get up from the bed. And even after Krishna, sucked out life air of Krishna, Krishna was still lying on Putana's body, not moving away anywhere because he couldn't move. Apparently, this is his Leela. So, for the purpose of reciprocating love with his devotees, especially those devotees who are in the maternal relationship, parental relationship with him, he acts like an endearing little small baby. And seeing a baby increases the mother's devotion, mother's love for the baby. And similarly, seeing Krishna in a baby form increases his devotee Yashoda's love for him. So, although Krishna may do this as a leela for reciprocating love, Krishna still remains God, as Putana found out. So, when we understand Krishna's divine position, then seeing him in a supine position increases our devotion for him. And that's why. We need to understand both his Leela and his Tattva, his pastimes and his position. When we understand both, then we move towards liberation. As the Bhagavad Gita 4.9 declares, Janma karma chame divyam evam yo vetti tattvataha tyaktva deham punar janma naiti mameti so arjuna. So Krishna says, those who devote themselves to me, the, uh, those who understand that I am divine, that even when I appear and act in ordinary seeming ways, they understand me philosophically, they will become devoted to me and they will attain me. Thus, by understanding Krishna's divine position, even when he is in supine position, we can attain the transcendental position of pure devotion for Krishna and proximity with him in his abode. Thank you. Hare Krishna.